So guys, I just wanted to show here in Denmark. Uh, I think in one of my videos I told you how Danish people are very trustful. So people have these uh, flowers uh, during summertime and uh, it's called a uh, plug cell. It means you can pick yourself and then you can just pay with mobile pay. Nobody's watching you to check if you're paying or not. So this this is a matter of trust. I love these ones. You can get so beautiful flowers uh, during summertime. Yes. So now I just want to show you our house tour. Um, it's kind of a French style, I guess, French is pie or something like that. It's an old uh, couple, very old couple have this place. Um, we wanted to be very close to, uh, to Claudia, um, very close to where the wedding was going to take place. And there's no hotels in this area because it's a little bit out of the town. So we actually found this and I was so excited. I was so happy. <laughs> Jan was saying, oh my God, it's so old. But I thought it was so nice and so cozy. And the owner, the lady, she was so, so nice. Yes, this is not for people who like uh, luxury or something like that. Because it's just one night we're going to spend there. Um, we're going to sleep there bef uh, the day we arrived and the uh, next day after the wedding and then we're going to head home. So for me this was enough uh, for us and uh, yeah it had two rooms so um, my, my stepson could also have a room uh, in the same area. <laughs> And I think for me, it was the garden that sold me this place. As soon as I saw the garden, I was so excited. If you know me here, you know how much I love garden. You know how much I love nature, how much I love being outside. And I, when I saw this garden, oh my Lord, I thought this is so me. I was so happy. It was so calm and so quiet and so green. It had been raining, raining the whole of July, so we were so, so worried about the, um, the weather. But uh, this, this is the day before, and the weather was so beautiful. It was so warm, and we were praying and crossing our fingers because Claudia's wedding, um, their wedding was going to be outside, you know, in the summer a, a cabin, the summer house. And uh, it is a very, very simple wedding. Uh, Claudia and her husband, they wanted a very, very simple wedding. So the wedding was going to be outside. So we were crossing our fingers because in the summer, in the summer cabin, the cottage, it's so small and we were going to be around 40 people uh, for, the, uh, for the party, for the wedding party. So we were, we were so worried. But uh, yeah, this day, the day before, this, the sun was shining and I was just taking in all the nature. I was just taking in all the sun and I was so loving it. <laughs> yes. After 
after settling in in our own place we went to the to the cabin to the summer house and wow cloud had done a very very good job wow was i surprised i know how she is she's so creative she made it this place so cozy with candle lights and fireplace and the decoration you know um, a lot of these things were second hand as you can see yes and guys, I, I'm not able to show you all the videos uh, because it's her wedding and maybe one day if she agrees we can make her wedding and tell you how she did this, how she managed to get away with doing a, a, a wedding on a budget. And But she wanted a very simple wedding, a very simple wedding with close uh, family. As you can see, even the place are not the same. The, the, the jugs with the flowers are not the same but it was so cozy and the flowers she did all this herself guys she might have got she got some help but all these were her ideas and she's such a creative girl guys here at the church claudia wore her mother-in-law's dress and she baked this cake and some of these cookies and here her enjoying the cake she baked yes very beautiful and uh, her bridemaids i don't want to show their faces and we took some photos um after dinner it was so beautiful so the next day we decided to go back home to you land or jotland as call it in english and uh, yes we have been passing this place so many times and we have never been in there so we decided to go in there today and they had this beautiful orangery. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. This is my dream orangery. Look at the water. It's so calming and relaxing and it was so huge. So we have been passing this place and looking at the beautiful pots they have in here, but we have never had the chance to go in there. So we went in there and we didn't regret it. It was so beautiful in here. So we went outside to look at what we came for, the pots. We did not plan on probably buying, we just wanted to look, but who goes and looks at pots and then don't buy if you're a garden person or if you're a plant person. And I love this plant here, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, you have to bring it inside. So we decided on these ones and uh, this is how I, I planted, well, this is how I decorated them. I love it. They match this uh, area here and this small pot. I thrifted it. Yes, guys. So thank you for watching and I hope you like this kind of videos and uh, like and share so my YouTube can grow. See you in another video. Bye.